Uh, event one of the Battle of the Beach uh, 2023 will be a lifting event. And we're gonna do that on the promenade on Friday evenings. You're gonna perform two different tasks. You're gonna have two athletes. First athlete has to perform a three rep max hand cluster, a two rep max hand cluster, and a one rep max hand cluster. While athlete number two will gonna go for three touch and go clean and jerks for max weight, two touch and go clean and jerks for max weight, and one clean and jerk in the end. For the flow, you're gonna have nine minutes in total. Athlete number one starts. You're gonna have a 45 second setup and 45 second lifting part. After 45 seconds, you're gonna move to the setup position again and perform your second lift. Another 45 seconds to do that. Then you have 45 seconds of uh, setup for the last time and then you're gonna perform your last lift. Then you swap positions. Your partner number two starts with the same 90 second intervals. You're gonna have 45 seconds to build up, by, uh, build up your weight and then 45 seconds to lift the first attempt. Within the 45 seconds you can start as often as you want and you can also do your 45 se or you can extend the lift throughout the 45 seconds as long as you start the attempt prior the 45 second mark you're good to go to perform the last uh, lift or the remaining reps within the complex. Alright so um, you're gonna start off with an empty bar that means as soon as you uh, reach the competition floor the barbell setup will be like that you're gonna be sideways to the lifting platform you're gonna start with 45 seconds of building up both athletes can start prepping the weight then you're gonna turn the barbell and within the next 45 seconds you're gonna be lifting every time you change weights you have to do the new setup and it can be only in this 45 seconds of setup for the uh, lifting itself you're gonna attempt a three rep max, a two rep max, and a one rep max. There's only one weight allowed. If you make it, you're done for the 45 seconds. You can turn the barbell already, but you're not allowed to put on any other weight and perform another attempt of the same complex. For the um, male-female division, there's only gonna be one little uh, twist. The males must be doing the hang, clean, uh, the hang clusters while the females have to perform the clean and jerks. For the standards, the hang clusters will always start with the deadlift at first. You need to uh, show full extension before you'll start getting back into the hang position and the barbell always has to remain above the knee to be able to do a hang cluster. On the way to the squat clean, uh, up to you how deep you catch it, but it must be a fluent movement all the way down to the squat position. And then on the way up, same thing. There will be no pause allowed at the top position and then you're gonna re-dip. It must be one fluent move movement all the way overhead. As soon as you've locked that out, you're good to go for the next rep. It must be back down to the shoulders. Then you have to get back into the hang position and perform your next rep. For the clean and jerks, you're gonna start off from the floor, and you're gonna perform three touch and go clean and jerk at the movement, uh, at the technique of your choice. So you can either do a power clean, a squat clean, you can do a push jerk, a push press, a split jerk, doesn't really matter what you do, as long as you take it from the ground all the way to the overhead position. And the touch and go part means there will be no setup on the, on the floor. You're gonna do a brief touch motion, get back to your clean, and then perform a jerk in the end. As addition uh, to uh, the two complexes and a granted rep, your judge will always grant the rep for you. So you gotta stay committed to the lift, you gotta have to stay in extension until your judge tells you to do the next rep or says good or whatever the call is. 